extraordinary individuals. They are extremely resistant to capture. They're going to lock us up and weaponize us. But they've never faced an army like ours. An army of five. Shit, let's start a band. Adapted from Greg Rucker's comic book of the same name, The Old Guard is an American superhero film from 2020 that was written and directed by Gina Prince Bythewood, Luca Manelli, Harry Melling, Veronica Nago, Chwada Eji for Kiki Lane, Matthias Jonas, Charlie Theron, and others star in a thriller which centers on a group of immortal mercenaries on a vengeance mission. July 10, 2020 saw the Netflix debut of The Old Guard. The action scenes and Theron's acting were praised by critics, who gave it mostly excellent reviews. With Victoria Mahoney directing, a sequel is now in production. With mysterious regenerative healing powers, Adropony Osythia or Andy Booker, Joe and Nikki are centuries-old warriors who use their enormous expertise to serve as mercenaries, accepting assignments that aid humanity. In defiance of their maximum that they never work for the same employers twice, they take on a mission to save a group of kidnapped girls from South Sudan from Storm of CIA agent James Copley. The expedition turns out to be a hoax and they are slain in an ambush. They discover that Copley set them up and secretly reordered their regeneration when they swiftly recovered and killed their assailants. In the meantime, US Marine Niall Freeman survives a home search in Afghanistan after having a throat cut or taking down a military target. She later shares an unsettling dream with other immortals, who become aware of her presence since they too dream of any new immortals until they are discovered. Before military authorities can take her out to Afghanistan for additional testing, Andy locates the bewildered Niall and rescues her. Stephen Merrick, a pharmaceutical executive, is shown the ambush footage by Copley, and he dispatches agents to apprehend the crew. Niall meets the other members of their squad at a safe home in France that Annie brings her to. The group divulges some of their past and reveals that they are not actually immortal. Like Lycon, a former immortal, they eventually lose their capacity to heal suddenly. She is also told about the first of Annie's allies, female immortal Quinna, who was taken prisoner, suspected of witchcraft, and lost to them after being flung into the sea in an Iron Maiden. Since then, she has been drowning repeatedly. Merrick's men assault the gang, capturing Joe and Nikki and leaving Booker, who appears to be dead, behind. Andy kills all of their attackers while Booker regenerates, but she sustains a wound and learns that she is not getting well. While Niall leads the gang to go back to her home, Booker finds Copley. When Andy and Booker confront Copley, Booker shoots her and betrays Andy, saying that Merrick might not be able to stop their mutual annoyance with immortality. But Booker notices that Andy is not getting better while they are being taken prisoner. When Copley discovers that Merrick is prepared to torment the Immortals endlessly in order to study them, he has a change of heart. When Nia realises that Booker has sold out the organisation, she gets there too late to stop him, but she persuades Copley to help her on a rescue mission. After she frees the remaining Immortals and raids Merrick London's headquarters, she fights her way out of the last security measures. Niall saves Andy from Merrick by seizing him and throwing him out of a window, killing him. The gang sentence Booker to loneliness for his betrayal, prohibiting him from communicating with them for a century. Copley meets with the remaining members of the group and reveals that his study has shown the previous missions had a greater impact than they had realised, with the people they had rescued going on to aid in a world of variety of ways. The group gives Copley the responsibility of keeping their secret and looking for missions where they can make an impact, having rekindled their belief in their existence. A dejected and abbreviated Booker is shocked to see Quinner in his apartment six months later, Paris. The Old Guard on Netflix is a thrilling action film that keeps you entertained till the very end. It's got a pretty impressive ending. Andy, Charlie Theron and a squad, which now includes the immortal newcomer Niall, Kiki Lane, must tie up some loose ends after taking care of the villainous Merrick, Harry Melling. The group punishing Booker, Matthias Schoenertz, for betraying the team is one of those unresolved issues. It is decided that he will go into exile and be unable to return for a hundred years. This results in an emotional farewell between Booker and Andy. They might not see each other again because of the exile and the likelihood that she is now immortal. We may also examine Niall's character development in a follow-up. The new immortal member is obviously unique. It would be interesting to see how Niall has improved even further from the first film if the sequel took place a few years off a decade later. Copley, Chiotella Gia 4 is another. Andy finds a former CIA agent through analysis of the group's historical activities to be quite fascinating. Since he is only one who is truly understands how the lives they have separated transform humanity into what it is today, Andy thinks Copley can have a purpose. She signs him to find missions for the crew while maintaining their anonymity. When we leave a footprint in the sand, in the snow, in the ether, you're going to sweep it, Andy responds. You're going to protect us from those who want to put us in cages 
and you're going to help us find jobs that are best suited to us. I don't know what more obvious indication there is that Netflix intends to make this film into a franchise than that. A potential antagonist for the sequel is also hinted at in the ending. We receive a huge surprise before the credits even start to roll as Quinna, Van Veronica Nago, visits the banished Booker. The film tells the story of how Andy and Quinna were a dynamic pair centuries ago, before they were published in A Being Witches. After they split up, Andy managed to escape but Quinna had less luck. She was cast into the water while imprisoned in an Iron Maiden. For over 500 years she has been drowning in necessity due to her immortality. However, at the end of the film, Quinn has managed to break free from underwater captivity and surprises Booker in Paris, where he is currently staying after being kicked off the squad. Booker, Quinn replies as she simply takes a quiet drink, it's nice to finally meet you. The screenplay for the film was written by Greg Rucker, co-creator of the Old Guard comics, who also told Polygon that Quinn's reappearance will be a major turning point in any prospective sequel. She is an enemy of Andy's group to the comics, having become logically damaged and misanthropic during centuries of drowning. Veronica's use of her one line gives me chills, Rucker said to Polygon on Quinn's visit to Booker's flat, not to mention that she's filling a glass of water for herself. It's as if you realise, well the lights are on, but the house is empty. Given the constraints the coronavirus placed on Hollywood, it's feasible that the actual world will make it more difficult to shoot a sequel in the near future. However, given how the old guard concluded, it would be highly upsetting if a follow-up wasn't realised at some point. Charlie Saron concurs as well. We went into this talking about a sequel as a possibility, Thrawn stated, to Total Film, and it's definitely something that excites us. Before the camera began to roll, Danny Hernandez, the film's flight coordinator, worked for four months with the Oscar winner and a co-stars on a variety of material arts disciplines, making Thrawn appear like a warrior with 6,000 years of fighting. This dedication is evident through Gina Prince's Bywood's film, particularly during the opening big battle scene, which features Andy and Niall fighting inside a cargo plane while it's in the air. Hernandez stated that while Theron and Lane would have to handle their fights because the sequence is intended to be as genuine as possible, that means the actors will need to train a lot in order to pull this off. In addition to showcasing Andy's fighting prowess, their exhilarating hand-to-hand -hand battle while the plane soars above the sky proves that Niall, the newest immortal member, is deserving of a spot in Andy's squad. Hernandez told Insider, having four months of training beforehand really helped us tremendously. It takes a lot of labour, sacrifice and oneself suffering and bumps because everything is genuine. No deceit, no backup performers. Hernandez would even have Theron and Lane practice the fight moves in front of a mirror on their own several times so they could observe their technique and improve. After that, they would advance in doing battle segment with a stunt partner. They would advance to additional playing conflict parts once they had mastered it. The actors would frequently practice each segment for a week. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And for more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.